Hi everyone, it's A Ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We're starting a new series. It's a kind of a Christian character series just to focus in on patience. And we're in 1 uh, Corinthians 13, verse 4, the very first um, few words, charity suffereth long, right? And of course, this um, from uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 is um, the list of the qualities of love, right? Charity means love. Um, and so the first quality is that love is long-suffering, which means love is patient. Um, of course, it's Old English, so it's saying suffereth long. And so we're going to focus in on patience. And I think this is so important today whereby we're surrounded by people who fly into road rage or they are impatient and, and jump the gun and, and just go doing things that maybe God didn't ask them to do. Um, impatience can really cost you um, a lot. We, we can study things out like when, um, and I think of when you think of impatience, you think of people who are quick tempered, quick to get angry or driven to anger, you know, they come to the end of their rope. So I think it's, it's so many disastrous things can happen by not having patience. But when you read the scriptures, it's all, it's always presenting patience as long suffering, right? Galatians 5 verse 22, at least in the old English, it describes patience as being long suffering because that's what it feels like. It feels a lot of times like this is hard. It's hard to listen to. It's hard to hear. Um, or it's hard to deal with. And so people want it to end. They want to actually cut someone off in a conversation or uh, change a situation or make decisions um, because they don't want to continue with the discomfort of a situation, with the pain of it, with the struggle of it. And a lot of times the situation, God has put us in it or it has allowed it to happen so that we can mature, so that we can grow in the fruit of patience. Uh, because God is patient. God has been patient with us, waiting for us, many of us, um, some uh, for a long time, uh, to come into accepting the Lord Jesus Christ, coming into a relationship with God. Many of us have, were knuckleheads in our lives, you know, doing all sorts of things that God really had to uh, move powerfully uh, to get us to a point whereby we were able to accept and receive salvation. I think for most people, disaster or hard times um, had to happen for them to turn to God. Um, and so once we come into a relationship with God, though, then we can't then turn around and be impatient at others or impatient in different situations. Um, in our relationship with God and from our position in Christ, we need to be growing. And the apostle uh, Peter talked about it in the epistle of Peter, where he says we have to add to our faith and he lists different qualities, you know, meaning that we need to keep growing in Christian character, right? In the things that uh, build our the soil of our heart so that we're good soil. The, the Lord talked about the parable of the soil, the sower with the soil. It's only the good soil that was able to retain the seed and bear fruit. And so good soil is Christian character, having the character to be able to carry the presence and power of the Holy Spirit, to be able to carry the fruit of the Spirit. And a lot of those things, um, you know, and, and those are things that have to be developed in us. They have to be formed in us because once we die as a seed, then that seed needs to grow, you know, it needs to grow, it needs to mature, and then it bears fruit. And so part of the maturing so that we can bear fruit is developing Christian character. And one of the foundational things, right, is on suffering, it's patience, right? And um, patience in affliction, patience when you're going through challenges, you know, temptations or difficulties, being patient with yourself, being patient with um, people, being patient uh, in the conversations you have. Uh, not cutting people off, allowing them to finish their point or um, giving them an opportunity to share their perspective and having the patience to hear them out and having the patience to deal with whatever the situation or challenge is, not just lashing out impatiently um, or not just flying off the handle or flaring up. Um, a lot of situations can be chaotic 
they can be uncomfortable, they can be confusing. And so that too takes patience, takes waiting. Now we do live in a society with technology that is beyond any other age. And so because of that, it has developed in us uh, instant gratification, instant this. It, we can instantly text or email or just pick up the phone and talk to some, someone right away. In the olden days, they had to write letters and they had to wait months for that letter to arrive to wherever they were sending it, depending on where. Um, and so the letter, what was written was very important, right? Every word counted. And, you know, uh, people would be able to have the time to absorb it, to think about it, and to, and to respond thoughtfully and kind. Uh, but we don't have that today. Today, it's uh, people responding quickly from their emotion immediately on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or YouTube or where, wherever you are or picking up the phone and blasting somebody off. I've known Christians who have hung up the phone and other Christians because they got offended. They did not have the love. They did not have the first principle of love, which is patience, 1 Corinthians 13, 4, to have that conversation with their sister or brother. And that should not be that is not good soil. And so this is something that we are going to look at and talk about for the next six days. And I hope you join me. It should be an interesting, exciting time, a time to just really build your character if this is an area that you've been struggling with, beloved. I hope you join me tomorrow and the rest of uh, the week for this series. God loves you so much. Have a great day. Take care.